Hi, I want to present you a program that is an extension to Tecla Structures. It is used to automatically generate multi-drawings from selected assembly drawings or selected single parts drawings. If you are interested in this program, you can download and test it for 30 days in trial version. A link to this program can be found in the description of this video. If you are watching this movie on your phone and you cannot download the program right now, you can send me a message on Facebook and I will send you a link. You can also write an email to support at ddbim.pl. I have divided the presentation of this program into two parts. First, I will show you quickly how this program works so that you can decide whether you need it at all and then I will discuss all its options in detail. Let's start. In the Applications and Components tab, find the Multi-Drawing Creator program. Double-click to open it. On the Drawing list, select all the drawings from which you want to generate multi-drawings. Set the program options carefully, I will discuss them in the next part of the presentation. Click the Start button. After a few minutes, a preview of the drawings will appear. Here you can check the number of drawings that will be generated or cancel creating multi-drawings. I am clicking OK now because I want to generate the drawings. At this point, leave the Tecla Structures program and do not touch anything. You should wait until drawings are generated. After the drawing generation process is completed, we can see new drawings. In this case, the program generated 10 multi-drawings. It took him 12 minutes. All multi-drawings have assigned titles with the numbers of elements on them. Now let's open one of these multi-drawings. We can see that it has an layout with title block and a summary set up. The drawings are linked in the multi-drawing, in this case, the assemblies, because we have selected the assembly drawings on the list before. Each drawing has a given title in the form of a label at the top. You can set the font, color and capitalization. The entire task took 12 minutes. The more drawings you select, the more profitable it is to use this program. For example, if you are to make multi-drawings from 100 drawings, it could take you all day to make these drawings by hand. The program can do this in half of an hour. If you like this program, you can download it using the link in the description of this video. If you are watching this video on your mobile, you can text me on Facebook then I will send you a link. You can also write an email to me at support at ddbim.pl. After downloading and installing the program, you can run a 30-day trial license by clicking the License Settings button then selecting the trial license and clicking the star trial period button. In this part of the presentation, I will discuss in detail the options included in the multi-drawing creator program. In the main window of the program, we see two tabs, main and settings. The main tab has settings that need to be set every time in a project, while the settings tab has settings that you will rarely change.
The first setting in main is called multi-drawing attributes. What is it about? You need to set up some general drawing setup with a title block and with or without your favorite bill of materials. Then, in the properties of this setting, save it under a name by clicking the Save As button. The name of these settings will appear in this list. When the program generates a multi-drawings, it opens this window, then selects the same setting and loads it. The drawing settings are very important, because in them you should set the title block so that later you do not have to open a dozen or so multi-drawings just to set up the drawing plate. Let it be done automatically. The next settings concern the drawing title. The first setting is the prefix. In my case, the prefix was assemblies. We can write anything, for example single parts, or leave it blank. The program will copy this prefix to the title before the automatically generated element numbers. The next setting tells us where this title will be assigned, whether we want to rewrite it to the name or to title 1 or to title 2 or to title 3. I set the titles in title 2. Another option asks us whether to optimize the number of drawings. This is called super optimization. I will show you how it works in a moment. Generally, if we do not give optimization, the program will arrange the multi drawings one by one. If any drawing of an element will not fit, the program will generate another drawing. With super optimization, the order of these element drawings is disturbed, but instead, the number of multi-drawings are much smaller. The last option sets whether to show a preview. In a moment I will show how it works when I will explain super optimization. Now let's go to the settings tab. In this tab, we set the sheet size in millimeters. I set the sheet size A0. This means that all collective drawings will have the size A0. We also set the left margin and the right margin. My left margin is 15 mm, it means that the first view of the combined drawing will be 15 mm from the left edge of the drawing. The right margin is set to 140 mm. This means that the minimum distance from the farthest right view to the edge of the drawing will be 140. Why so much? Because I put the bill of materials on the right side. If you do not place bill of materials, you can set this margin to a lower one. If your summary table is larger, you can set it here. The next three settings are for the view label. This is its color, letter size and font type. I put it on Arial, green, size 5. In the main tab, on the right side there is also a short instruction. Above it is the license settings button, which we use to handle our license. We can choose a trial license here, which can only be activated once. You can enter the license key here or enter the license server address, if you have a network license. There is also a progress bar in the main tab and a label showing the percentage of progress. At the bottom right is the cancel button which is used to cancel. Canceling is not that intuitive. Usually, when you click this button, the program will continue to execute certain commands. It is related to communication with Tecla structures. You can only cancel after the pending commands have been executed. So, don't be afraid. If you click the cancel button, the job will be cancelled, 
but it can happen in a minute, for example. Let's see how the drawing preview works. So this show preview option. Select assembly drawings in the drawing list. Click the start button. In the middle of the program's operation, such a preview window appears after a few minutes. Here we can see how many drawings will be made and we can read their titles. We can now see that with the first drawing, the program will only link two of assembly drawings. On the second picture we see that he will link one. And in the third one he will also link one drawing. On the fourth, he'll link three drawings. We are not satisfied with how these drawings will be arranged. Therefore, at this point, we can cancel the drawing generation process by clicking the cancel button. We cancelled and now let's see how the program will propose the number of multi drawings if we turn on super optimization. We click super optimization. We click the start button again. Now, a little faster than the first time, the program will download the dimensions of the drawings and put them in memory. We will wait again for the preview window. And we see in this window that the program has offered to do 10 multi drawings. There will not be two drawings in the first one, but six. In the second four drawings, even more in the third. At this point, we make a decision whether we like what we see. Now let's look at other drawings as an example. In this case, they are drawings of railings. How does the program proposal look like without optimization? Well, we see that the drawings will be linked one by one from 30 to 39 from 20 to 29 and from 1 to 8 in the first figure this is because the sizes of the railing drawings are similar to each other now let's see how the program proposes the layout of these drawings if we use the super optimization option with super optimization we can see that the order of adding drawings to multi-drawings has already changed. For example, in the first figure we have elements from 1 to 8, but also 28. On the second multi-drawing we see 9 to 13, 17, 24. No we have 5 drawings suggested and the previous time it was 6. At this point, we decide whether we like the program proposal. In this case, I would turn off optimization, because I like the drawings to be sequential. In the previous case, I used super optimization because the sizes drawings were various. Some of the drawings were very large and some were small. You can add smaller ones to large drawings. They don't have to be consecutive. Whether or not we optimize is a decision that must always be made after seeing the preview. However, when you make multi drawings from single drawings, I strongly advise against super optimization, because one sheet can contain a lot of drawings of single parts. Sometimes it is even 100. With super optimization, the program proposed five multi drawings. Unfortunately, these titles are very ugly, because the drawings are not in order. Let's see what the program suggestion will look like without super optimization. You can see from the title that the drawings are in order. The number of multi drawings has not changed because the drawings of single parts are very small. There is no point in stuffing these drawings in different order. Summarizing We need to decide whether to enable super optimization only after watching the preview of the suggestions. Preview can be turned on or off but I recommend having it turned on. In rare cases, you can choose to turn off the preview, for example as we know that we will not optimize. I want to talk about some common problems at the end. First, the program checks whether the elements in the model are up to date in terms of numbering. You must make sure that the numbering is up to date and, 
Additionally, all drawings must be up to date. Otherwise, an error will pop up that will prevent further work of the program if a drawing is out of date or its element requires renumbering. The second problem is with the list of drawings. Note that I am working on the old drawing list. To use the program you have to turn on the old drawing list. This is because Document Manager cannot be programmatically controlled. I'll show you where that switches in a moment. We need to open Advanced Options window and find Option Access Use Old Drawing List dialog and set this variable true. It switches very quickly. I will now turn Document Manager back on for a while by setting it to false. This is the new list of drawings that you see by default if you work in Tecla 2019, 2020, 2021. However, in this list, no macros and extensions work. You have to close this manager document, go to Advanced Options, search for XS Use Old Drawing List dialog and set it to True. Click Apply. Close the window and open the list of drawings again. These are the two problems that you need to pay attention to. So the numbering must be up to date and the old list of drawings must be used. Thank you for your attention. You can download the program from the link in the description of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to write to me, I will be happy to answer.